Oh, I usually don't deal in foolishness. I don't take the time for it. Well, I'm going to just a little bit this morning. Turn with me to John. I'm sure everybody familiar with it. Chapter 2. And we're just going to read a few verses here. Chapter 2, verse 7. Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them to the brim. And he said unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. And when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not which it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, Every man at the beginning does set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk them that which is worse, but you have kept the good wine until now. Oh, Jesus turned to water and wine. No, he did not. If you look the word good up, do you realize there are 17, I believe, different variations in how that word is used? The word good there, did I ever write down that number? Yeah, I believe it's uh, 2570 in the Greek, kalos. And it's used here, interistic, which means it's something that is good within itself and we know it, it means uh, viable virtuous or virtuous you know, stuff along that line if you know for anything to be of alcohol beverage it has to have rot and it has to have decay in it which when you look at all the different words for the word good wrong word it's really the wrong word and actually, I think my, uh, if I looked at so many of them, I think it's never 18 that would have to apply if it referred to to the other good. But check it out. There's 17 variations of how that word good is used. And people are just misusing it here. And saying Jesus turned water to wine. It was simply grape juice, something that was virtuous, something that was good within itself, which we know that any alcohol beverage has to have a rot or decay in it to be of a strong, strong drink. So no, Jesus did not drink wine. You don't have to take my word for it. But apply yourself to the word of God and study that word. Good. You can see it for yourself. Uh, you got plenty of time. Let me, Isaiah 65, 8 says, This saith the Lord. As the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, so will I do for my servant's sake, that I may not destroy them off. The new wine or sweet juice in the cluster, as it is here, is valued and preserved for use. The juice or grape juice being called wine while still in the cluster in this verse? Shows me that not all wine referred to was necessary fermented or of intoxicating beverage. And uh, bottom line is, apply yourself to the Word of God and study that word good and all the different variations in how it's used. And it does not apply here to alcohol beverage, but it's something that is used intraristically. Help me from not pronounce that word. Intraristically. Something that just simply means it's good within itself. So, uh, study it and see for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Thank you for your time.